Yo, welcome back everybody. Today we're fitting these column rads, but they're on feet, not on the wall. Like, comment, subscribe for more. The feet we're using here are adjustable, so you can actually put them onto much wider radiators and they just saw screw on with a grub screw at the end. I wish before they're plastered that I could have changed the uh, pipe work. But I don't think there's anything we can really do here. I mean, that's a huge distance between the two. So what I might do is I might bring it really close to that one and then just chat to the builder about maybe just hacking that and just bringing it closer because that's a long stretch for a room that they've just plastered like they're trying to make it look great. I'm going to use PTFE on this occasion because the customer's a bit wishy-washy, right? Um, so they pretty much change their mind every uh, other day. So they might look at these and think, well, I don't like it with the white radiators. Can we get white? So I won't use liquid PTFE because I need to be able to remove them. So these are pretty nice though. Screwing it in this way into the radiator. So that means we put this at the bottom and sort of if we were doing a screwing motion it would be screwing you're screwing towards whichever way you're going right so that way now we know which way it's going we could just carry on like that now there's no amount of turns that you're kind of supposed to use i guess what you're looking for is the visibility of the thread so we're going along and we're waiting until the thread is pretty much almost non-visible, okay? And what I like to do is once that starts to happen, right, we're pulling it quite tight, by the way. So we're not doing it loosely, we're doing it very tight so that it, it does do that. And we can see that the visibility is going down. And then I sort of twist around and I'm kind of forming a bit of an O-ring here, right? So we're going in like that and I'm just doing it at the end just here so as this tightens up it's going to really bunch up at the end I don't know if you can tell that from looking at it but at the end it's got a bit of a fatter bit where I just did more on this side so as it screws in some of this gets pushed forward a bit and then it reaches this bit and it just forms a very tight seal as it pushes in there and it's kind of kind of works a bit like an o-ring so yeah just round like that doesn't have to be a lot because the PTFE is going to do most of the job. Um, and then, yeah, we just chuck it in there. There we go. So now I can clean this off just like that and uh, give it another clean. But yeah, it's sort of tucked away. I can see that the PTFE has really sealed around there. That's where my head is, right? And it's like that throughout the property. So you've got to kind of walk with your head down. Corridors are quite dark. I mean, there's no lights on because it's, it's a sight at the moment. But as you come along here, do you know what I mean? I'm 6'1". As you come along here, <laughs> and the guy's the same height as me that's moving in here. I mean, you walk in in your, I don't know what this would be, like a part of their bedroom. You're walking along. Do you know what I mean? You, you have to, so the whole time you're walking around like this, it's, it's just crazy. But yeah, just hack that off. It's insulated. And there we go. That should be it. It's gone all loosey-goosey. So before we start locking in anything, I'm just going to give this a quick test. It looks all right to me. That fits pretty much done. Now I wanna hit these angles so it's protected so the flame is not going that way. Now with the Yorkshire, I kind of don't need to put on any solder, but I think I will. So I've got my solder ready here. And I'm gonna try and spread it around just a bit. I can see the solder coming out and I'm just gonna tap that. All right, and then I'm just gonna tap inside here as well. 
There we go. I'll give it another tap there. And then we can move on to this. And what I'm gonna do is start probably here on the side. Now I'm gonna do it here because this is gonna be a bit more hidden, just there. And what I'm gonna do is start at the top here. All right, and start here. And that should do it. I don't even know how I'm gonna record this, so. Looks like it works out perfectly. Like a super weird angle. Uh, not making any excuses or anything, but I might mess this up because of how I'm trying to awkwardly do this. I'm trying to put it from underneath um, because I don't want to block the camera. So hopefully I can do this properly. So I'm just heating it all the way around that should be ready now. There we go. Just quickly get the brush full of flux. And I'm just gonna tap each side. A bit of gymnastics here as well, which you can't really see. Just to get the angles in. It's not as easy as just uh, recording or soldering when you're not recording. It. So that's pretty much it. That's all soldered now. I have the phone here. If I tried to solder from here, you wouldn't be able to see it. So that's the difficulty of doing this. The angles for the camera. So that looks pretty nice. I mean, here's what it is. It's tucked in there. There's still carpet going in, so I've not secured it to the floor. So this one's in now. How about it? Find the pipe work that the, <laughs> that the plaster is hid from me. It's really difficult to find the space. I mean, everything here is really unlevel. The whole house is kind of bendy-wendy.